All right, in this video cheat sheet, we're going to be enabling a label distribution protocol on a router in our network. We we'll start off with the baseline show commands of show MPLS LDP neighbor and bindings to see if LDP or, or a label distribution protocol is already running on the router. Then we're going to enable so two debug commands, debug MPLS LDP, peer state machine, and messages sent to see the events unfold uh, as we enable and configure a router for label distribution. And then we're going to finish up with the verification show commands of show MPLS LDP neighbor and bindings and compare them to the baseline show commands. So let's look at the network topology. We're going to be enabling the label distribution protocol LDP globally here on router 2 and then we're going to override that global command and run TDP or tag distribution protocol between router 2 and 3. So I'm going to start off with the two show commands show MPLS LDP neighbor and bindings here on router 2 and as you can see we don't have an LDP neighbor and we don't have any bindings because LDP has not been enabled yet. So let's do the, the two debug commands, the debug MPLS LDP peer state machine and messages sent. So as we configure it we can see what kind of output we're going to get as far as the routers will see from a debug perspective. Now the way that you configure a label distribution protocol on a Cisco router is in global configuration mode you do MPLS label protocol. Now we're going to do LDP but I'll show you here real quick. This is where you can also globally do TDP which as you can see TDP is by default what Cisco uses unless you specify something else which is LDP and I'm going to specify LDP. I, I'm not a big fan of doing anything that's proprietary to any box. You know, nothing against Cisco, but anything proprietary to any box I don't like doing because then usually you're locked into that box. I like to do the industry standard which in this case is LDP. So I've enabled LDP globally here on router 2. Now I'm going to do my two verification commands of show MPLS LDP neighbor and show MPLS LDP bindings. As you can see, I still don't have an LDP neighbor even though I've already enabled it on all the other routers and I still do not have any LDP bindings even though that I've enabled LDP as the label protocol for MPLS globally in this router and also you may notice that I have absolutely no debug command output. That's because of how Cisco handles LDP and how you have to go about not only do you enable it globally you can enable a routing protocol uh, not a routing protocol but a label protocol globally but you then have to implement MPLS on the interfaces that you want to run MPLS across and you also have to implement it globally which will be in the next video cheat sheet so that's why we don't have any output here. So let's go ahead and look at the interface because we're going to configure TDP between the interfaces between router 2 and router 3. So real quick here on the interface you, you see that you can do LDP which is what we enable globally. You can do TDP which is what is on there by default or you can enable both if you have multi-access interface. So we're going to enable TDP on this interface on router 2. So I'll put that there and then I'm going to go over to router 3 and I'm going to enable TDP on the interface. Once again on router 3 it's already been enabled globally for LDP but I'm going to override that behavior and put TDP on the interface. So I've done that on both ends of the interface and as you can, you can see I still have absolutely no debug output and once again I did all this to show you that there's a couple of steps that you have to go through. So we've enabled uh, a label distribution protocol or LDP globally on router 2. We then enabled TDP specifically on the interfaces between router 2 and router 3 but yet we still have no exchange because that's because we need to enable MPLS on the router globally and on the interfaces we want to run MPLS across and we will cover that in the next video cheat sheet.